Hey everyone, welcome back to MTD CNC channel. I'm still kicking it here at the Heimer Tech Center in Illinois with Brent Holden. Hello Brent, how are you? Good, how are you Megan? I'm doing well. I'm super excited to hear about this tool-based system. So can you explain what this is? Yeah, this is a new system from Heimer. It's a cabinetry system. Okay. But it's much more than that. There's a whole software system behind it that allows you to, to track and monitor all of your inventory, organize how you store everything and make it very easy for people to withdraw tools or put tools back okay. or anything like that. So that software system you're talking about is gonna be in another demonstration, correct? So that's the Win tool software system? Well, this is kind of its own software system, okay. but it does implement very easily with Win tool. Okay. It also can serve as a central database for any other cabinetry system you might have in your shop. So if you have another okay. vending machine system, this could end up being the uh, central database for all of that. Gotcha. So I know one of your themes here too is like easy integration. So it doesn't matter what brand you're using. Is it the same for this type of system? It is predominantly. As long as the other cabinetry systems allow us to communicate with them, which I would say 80% of them do, then okay. yes, we can integrate with any cabinetry system that the shops already have. Okay. There are a few who, who kind of keep it pri proprietary and we won't be able to integrate with them, but in gotcha. general, yes, it can integrate with anyone's cabinetry system. And we do it in our own production. So we have, uh, in our own production, we've implemented all of this. Okay. And we even have the large systems, like the large lift systems are all running through just the same little software you're seeing here. Okay. It's a very powerful software that can integrate with multiple cabinets throughout the entire shop. Gotcha. So some shops are bigger than others and can have more components or more tools or more even product. Mm -hmm. So what is the limit on the size of this thing? So there really is no limit. That's what's great. I mean, okay. it could even be monitored. This software can be monitoring uh, cabinets that aren't even in the same location. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, people will have one software, central software per location. If you have an, a, where, uh, a production facility here and then you have another one maybe a mile or two away, you'd probably have a different central database. But theoretically, it could actually interface with all the cabinets throughout the entire facilities, multiple facilities. But yeah, so there really is no limitation. Gotcha. So are, do you have any like setup suggestions, like where to get started first? Well, yeah, I think that is important. The implementation of a cabinetry system mm -hmm. is very, very important. Uh, we always say with anything that we sell, keep it simple to start gotcha. because you know then you can slowly integrate on how you manipulate or mm -hmm. utilize the equipment. But it's it's a very simple process to set up uh, because again, all the software we make, we try to make as easy as possible. Right. And when we did our implementation of both the wind tool, which we'll talk about later, and the tool base, we were able to do it all. Uh, within four months, and that's wow. for a production facility with over 220 machines. So it yeah. really, really was a quick and easy implementation. Nice. Well, can you show us how this works? Sure, sure. So basically, this is the software, and if I want to get in there, I've got my little ID card. Okay. And I'm going to just scan here, and this will then instantly brings up the software and it tells us who is on. So it says Brent Holden is the person that's on here. Okay. And then we can do lots of different things. You know, from a management standpoint, I have administrator rights. I can look at history and things like that. But the predominant function is to withdraw tools or items. So basically, I'm going to say I want to withdraw an item. Okay. So I have some options here. I can either draw a loaner tool. So what's a loaner tool? That's like a measuring instrument, maybe a Heimer 3D sensor, a caliber, a micrometer, something that the whole shop utilizes. Okay. And what's really nice about that, and we've seen people really love that concept because I don't know about you, but if you go to shops, a lot of times, you know, you need a big bore gauge or something and mm -hmm. you go to the cabinet, you can't find it. You say, who's got it? Well, I don't know. Chuck's got it over on his machine. Well, now you would know, yeah, Chuck has it. He should have returned it, but at least you know where to go look for it. But the right way would be Chuck uses it, brings it back, and tells the machine has brought it back. Gotcha. The other is in, what we have set up here, machine tooling. So here would be the cutting tools, mm -hmm. the tool holders, things like that. Okay. Uh, we have a nice little section here called marketing. So we'll click on that just for fun. So here you see a lot of different Heimer marketing items. So everyone knows us for our Yodel Beaver. So we'll click on the Yodel Beaver as far as what we want to withdraw. We tell the software we're going to take one out. So it's our immediate draw. And it tells us exactly where to remove it. So it tells us that it's in drawer number 101. Okay. So there's nine drawers in this, in this basic system. Um, and it's in compartment 14. And it says we have four left. Now, 
If I try to open the wrong drawer, it won't open, but 101 will open because that's where we're ho holding the yodel beavers. I take out my yodel beaver. Okay. So then, this is the inside of the drawer. That is. That's the inside of the drawer. So we're standing here. So the back of the drawer, we've removed it. Mm -hmm. So we say it's complete. And so now it knows to adjust the stock. Okay. And now the drawers won't open again. And we've effectively uh, taken out a yodel beaver. That's awesome. So this is really good at keeping track of your inventory and then maybe helping you set up reorders if necessary. That's right. That's right. So it could be tied in completely with your ERP system. Okay. So it can actually generate when you get to safety stock levels, it can generate automatic inventory uh, reorders. And that is a huge benefit of this because mm -hmm. it's traditionally a problem in shops where you, you might have an urgent job or a job mm -hmm. and what's holding you back? Well, it's the cutting tools not in stock at mm -hmm. your own facility or you know, who knows, you don't have the right tool holder. Mm -hmm. But if you have this and it's automatically ordering for you, then you're good to go. It's going to be uh, ready to go. And it doesn't have to be, you're not ordering from Hymer. It's, it could be implemented with your local distributor, with that's anyone awesome. that you normally order tools from. So that's another beautiful thing is a total o open architecture. And, and, and that's what makes it a bit unique with Hymer on the tool base is we're mm -hmm. not we're not here to sell cutting tools on a day-to-day -day basis, restock this. You can have your local distributors do that or your partners, but we can just implement it to however your ERP normally orders. That's awesome. And I, I think that would help too with overstock as well, because I know some companies would keep an overstock of an item and then sometimes those would go bad because they would just expire or rust or something. So this is really helping you maintain that right level all the time. Absolutely. That's a great point. And the other nice thing it has, it has order of things. So what do I mean by that? So let's say you have a um, hundred half inch end mills. Okay. Well, 25 of them have been resharpened. 25 of them have been used, but you still have more life on it, and 50 are brand new. This is a smart software where it could actually tell you as the operator coming to get the half inch end mill, mm -hmm. take the one that's still got some cutting tool life on it, the 25 that haven't been used, or that have been used but still have life on them. Then after that, go to the regrinds, mm -hmm. and then after that, go to the new tool, if that's how you want it to be. But what traditionally happens is in a normal shop, they come over, maybe they've got a box of 10 inserts, they see there's still eight in there, but they notice one has one cutting edge has been used, mm -hmm. and they go for a brand new one. And they never get around to going to back the ones that still have tool life on it. So this is uh, a nice feature as well, that it can actually uh, put things in order for you so you know which ones to take. Now, I have a question with the scanner. Now, someone scans it, it shows your name, like it's still up there. Mm -hmm. Do you have to do something to log out of it? What if someone logs out of it and then someone else tries to use the system, what, what happens then? Well, if you log out, there's, there's no way to get back in without entering a password okay. or scanning your ID card. So if someone forgets to log out, then common sense would mean the next person would just log out for them. Yeah, but it will, after a certain amount of time, it will automatically log out. And you can gotcha. set that to be faster than maybe it was right there. But so in other words, it, it, it's, uh, pretty good control. And that's another nice feature of this mm -hmm. and how it pays for itself very easily is, uh, you know, is the having the control, not only of the inventory, but the control of who's going in and out. And then mm -hmm. you can get reports of, you know, who's took what out, how often do they take tools out, what's that's their awesome. trend. So, yeah. That's really cool. This is something that I would like in my house because my daughter's home now from college and she <laughs> likes to take my stuff without returning it, but then denies all the time that she took it. <laughs> so this would really help organize our house as well, too. So yeah. um, very cool technology, Brent. Thank you so much for demoing this. Stay tuned because we have one more demo and I'm super excited because it's going to tie everything all together for you. I'm Megan Zimma. This has been MTD CNC. Mm -hmm.